أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وكل جاء الحق وزهق الباطل إن الباطل كان زهوقا Translation And say truth has come and falsehood has vanished away Law falsehood is ever bound to vanish. Surah 17, verse 81. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam wa rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Peace and blessing on His Prophet Muhammad. Um, just a short video, inshallah, um, addressing a very important topic, I think. I've seen it throughout YouTube, and some people have actually emailed to address some of these things. Um, it's the issue of some of the videos that uh, a certain group called Muslims for Jesus are putting up to um, to make a certain attack, um, a I would say a more um, emotional attack uh, towards the, the Muslims with so-called stories of Muslims leaving Christianity. And I'm not here to question the sincerity of you know those people who left. And definitely we're not here to count numbers uh, of who converted more. A lot of people try to do that. How many Muslims convert to Christianity, or how many Christians convert to Muslims? Uh, okay, okay. Whoever has the most number, um, you know, is uh, is the one, the true religion. That's not. I don't think that's something that very rational uh, aspect to look at the two faiths and to realize what's from God and what's not from God. The question is, which faith is it true? And not even that. I guess in the terms of Christianity, they don't really believe in Prophet Muhammad being a prophet or the Quran being somehow or partially from God. As Muslims, we do believe that Jesus was a prophet. We do believe that some of the message uh, is from God. So there's a, a big of a difference, I think, uh, between the two. But anyway, um, the the one um, past the one uh, event that I was looking at was the story of Rashid and the story of another Pakistani Muslim and just some of the in inconsistencies that I, I mean I just have to address them just some of the inconsistencies in the video one of the videos entitled uh, you know a Muslim priest journey to Christ or, or something around that way and if you look at the actual videos a lot of terminology that they use is incorrect it's not Islamically correct okay there's no such thing as Muslim priests okay uh, there's sometimes they'll say Sheikh or something like that but you don't really uh, see how these people could be sheikh because they don't even uh, know how to pronounce uh, some of the words properly so if you're a sheikh uh, how could you mispronounce sharia and call it shari uh, shari is uh, something totally different uh, than uh, sharia okay that's that's another verse uh, uh, when you, you you're actually seeking refuge from what was, what was created uh, so that's that there's two different there's a big difference between the shari and the sharia so I think a, a sheikh or a Muslim cleric or whatever they call Muslim priest um, you know just for sake of argument would not make these mistakes I'm not trying to say again here that these guys are blapping or anything like that they're you know, they're they're lying but I'm just I think there's some inconsistency and we should point them out when such uh, things try to be attempted um, I'm not sure of, I mean, if you look at, for example, another one, um, you know, ex-Muslim alcoholic, you know, finds Christ. Well, in Islam, you're not allowed to drink. In Christianity, you are. So how is he, he's going from a faith that told him not to drink, but he was drinking in it, supposedly, to a faith that allows you to drink. Um, anyway, that's, you know, it's just an inconsistency. Ex-Muslim alcoholic, maybe he was, you know, reading out, you know, he was drunk when he, he found, I mean, I'm not trying to joke here. But maybe he was drunk when he found, you know, uh, Christianity to be the truth. Uh, so I don't think that's really a, a very good argument for that. I mean, just just to give you examples of some, some of these arguments that come forth with these videos, very emotional. They're very nicely done. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of funding behind it, a lot of shows, um, you know, people talking about very emotional, you know, stories. They're dramatized, of course. Uh, if you can see there, you know, there's actors, uh, professional actors paid for this to do that. Uh, the one that I saw with the Pakistani guy, it's weird because I think they're speaking Arabic in Pakistan, which is uh, kind of like, you know, unlikely. Also, uh, the one person was saying that, you know, that Yahweh and Allah are different because, uh, you know, if you look at Yahweh throughout the Bible, it's a fact that Yahweh is love. And if you look at, uh, you know, in Islam, you find Allah is not love. Uh, he said you know you'll never find anything you know uh, uh, about love in the Quran about Allah uh, being love. And I'm just gonna ref uh, uh, recite verse uh, 14, Surah 85. Uh, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
wa huwa al-ghafurul wadud and he alone is truly forgiving and he is the loving uh, al wadud the loving so just to uh, the if he was a an ex muslim cleric or priest or you know cuz most of these people tend to say well he was a sheikh he was an imam he was a muslim you know leader he was a muslim priest um, so if you he, he would have he should have known the quran he should have known uh, surah 85 should have known that uh, this verse is there uh, and uh, al wadud al ghafur al wadud the most merciful uh, the, the the loving so if, if he were to be that he should have known that if I don't, I'm not sure what the standard for imam uh, for an imamate is right now. From what I know, though, they have to go through a long process of isnads and a lot of process of being certified as imams, a lot of tizgiyah, purification of the heart, memorize the Quran, applying it, and so on. So I, I'm it just I'm I'm not, I'm not trying to say that from me I'm suspecting these people of lying, but just you know we have to stand against when such inconsistencies are shown to us and they're trying to be pushed down the throat of some people who you know. Uh, might not realize that that's what's happening. So um, the other thing he says that in the Bible, you know, the God is you know consistent of love. Uh, I mean, maybe he doesn't didn't really even read the Bible uh, properly. Uh, I could give several 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 issues where you know uh, God is. I mean, you you can't say that you know he's all merciful, which we don't. You know, I don't disagree that you know. Uh, he is. He is merciful. But for example, in First Samuel six, uh, verse nineteen, and he smote the men of Beth, Beth Shemesh because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. Even he smote of the people fifty thousand and three score and ten men, and the people lamented, lamented because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter, which so is just um, killing, right? God, God does what He pleases to, you know. Right? P innocent people die. I'm not attacking the Bible. Oh, look, verses. God is horrible in the Bible. No, in the Quran, God, you know, uh, punish people. The people loot and Ad and Thamud and so on. And in the Bible, He punished the people through, you know, through Moses and through other people. Uh, he punished the people of Lot again. There's consistency between the two there. So I'm not arguing against it, but I'm just trying to tell you that, you know, you can't say that God is love. You couldn't say that love is jealous. Love is, you know, uh, sometimes, yeah, of course, it's compassionate, merciful. But love is jealous. Love is sexual. Love is, you know, different things of love. And there's so so many imperfections in. He has the attribute of love, but it's a perfect love. It's not our, our love, a deficient love. Okay, so that's just to make that uh, straight. Um, I mean, if you look at these videos, right, if we're counting numbers here, who converts, who gets the best story out there. And even Muslims, of course, they have different stories of their conversions. Um, I would suggest, you know, to the people who are seeking the truth, and some people have actually accused me, another person who emailed me right now, uh, he said the truth, right, he says, oh, you're not really seeking the truth, I know what's inside of you, you're not doing it, oh, you should ask your Lord to guide and this and that, and I mean, to look, to, to think that you know what's inside of me, that's again, I, I think it's a big insult and a, a very harsh approach, you know, and a very bad approach to someone, you know, you think you know what's inside of me, whether I'm seeking the truth or not, uh, and you know what? I'm I'm always open to the truth, right? I'm pretty, uh, very, very, very confident. I wouldn't say just pretty or somehow confident. I'm 100% confident that I am on the truth. And, you know, Allah is the one who guides uh, the sincere people. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, to, them, to my Muslim brothers and sisters who are watching these videos and might have gotten, you know, a bit confused over them or, you know, maybe even uh, influenced by them. You have to really check what you know some of these claims are here. You have to really look, uh, you know, what is said, and whether these things are, are you know are really uh, credible or not, and whether these things have any basis. I'm not saying that people didn't convert to Christianity. Maybe some even sincerely a lot, but I'm saying that to, in order to do such a big step in your life, you have to know what you're going into and you have to know what you're leaving. That's all it is. So you have to look at the two faiths. You have to study Christianity. You have to study Islam. And so on. So either way, whatever way you're going, right? To actually be fair in that. And, you know, from there, I think that would be a more uh, practical approach as you know, as opposed to an emotional approach. Oh, I saw a light and I saw this. Um, if we are to go according to dreams and according to lights and people have had visions of, you know, in their dreams of killing their kids and of, you know, being homosexuals and of seeing different things. They have had visions of, and even in, you know, real life, uh, you know, illusions of different things. If you were to act on those, I mean, this world would just be a world of dreams. Allahu alam, subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu ala ilaha ilanta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaha.